canonization. On Saturday, September 2, 2017, during the Covenant of Christ Conference held in Boise, Idaho, this volume was canonized as Scripture by affirmative vote of the General Assembly of the Body of Believers, both assembled there and participating by video stream throughout the world. This marked the first and only time, to that point in history, that the Book of Mormon had ever been formally voted upon and accepted as a canon of Scripture by any group of believers. Further, with the adoption of the Old Covenants, the New Covenants, and teachings and commandments as a standard for governing ourselves, as a law, and as a covenant, to establish a rule for our faith, and as the expression of our religion, those professing to believe in the doctrine of Christ formally received the Book of Mormon not only as a canon of Scripture, but also as a covenant from God. This fulfilled the last prerequisite necessary in obtaining a new covenant from him that would commence the grafting of the Gentiles into the house of Israel to be numbered among his people, see Jacob 3, also answer in covenant. The following morning, the Lord offered his grafting covenant to the world, which was authoritatively administered by his servant Denver Snuffer Jr. and continues to be available to all who will receive it, see TNC 158. What follows is a transcript of the canonization proceedings held at Eagle Island State Park in Eagle, Idaho on Saturday, September 2, 2017. Speaker, the scriptures to this point have been the result of thousands of hours of labor by dozens of volunteers. They were prayerfully presented to the Lord, who was asked to accept the labor as our best attempt to preserve and recover the scriptures provided to us in the restoration through Joseph Smith. We asked the Lord to continue the work of the restoration and allow His revelations, work, covenant, and blessings to roll forth with us, and the things kept hidden be uncovered, and a fullness be given to us as a people. The prayer said this. It is written that those who will not harden their hearts will receive a greater portion of your word, until they know the mysteries of God in full, see Prayer for Covenant, TNC 156 paragraph 14. We seek to leave behind a hard heart and to be as open to receiving a greater portion of your word and to know of your mysteries and obtain your grace for us as a people that we may become yours. We have added only things to the scriptures as we have understood to also have come from you and would be pleasing to you. We ask that you accept these books as yours, so that people of faith may then rely upon this work as your word to this generation, as a standard for governing ourselves as a law, and as a covenant to establish a rule for our faith and as the expression of our religion so we may have correct faith and be enabled to worship you in truth. In his answer to prayer for covenant, the Lord stated this. I commend your diligent labor, and your desire to repent and recover the scriptures containing the covenant I offer for the last days. For this purpose I caused the Book of Mormon to come forth. I commend those who have participated, as well as those who have offered words of caution, for I weigh the hearts of men and many have intended. There is great reason to rejoice because of the work that has been done. The records in the form you have of the old covenants given from Adam until Moses and from Moses to John are of great worth and can serve my purposes, and are acceptable for this time. As you have labored with the records you have witnessed the alterations and insertions, and your effort to recover them pleases me and is of great worth. I the Lord, say to you, what you have gathered as scriptures are acceptable to me for this time, and contain many plain and precious things. Nevertheless, whoso is enlightened by the Spirit shall obtain the greater benefit, because you need not think they contain all my words nor that more will not be given, for there are many things yet to be restored unto my people. And now I will accept what you have produced. TNC 157 paragraphs 4, 6, 15, and 44 to 45. We now invite all of you, as a body of believers assembled in this conference and those who are viewing from at home, to also accept the content of the Scriptures Project as our new Restoration Scriptures, not only as our best effort to recover what has already been given, but also as an expression of our willingness to receive more. All those who choose to accept the Scriptures as a rule for our faith and as the expression of our religion, please stand. Let me read that one more time, all those who choose to accept the scriptures as a rule for our faith and as the expression of our religion, please say, yes. Thank you. Please be seated.